I've actually done five total classes. I did a team building event for a NASCAR team, and it was the first time I lined out my career for somebody. These were some awesome guys. They were just curious, and, and I'd never actually set it down. So I went. I was in class two, three, eight. Went to Hell Week. I, it's actually funny that I had a conversation with another guy that we just onboarded to be on the Brotherhood as a fellow. He was in the same class and actually was in the same boat crew when I got my first injury. He's a taller guy. He played football. His name is Noel Sons. Awesome guy. And I, it was me and him in Hell Week. Anybody that knows anything about Buds, the shorter guys are the Smurf crew, which is the best, you know, boat crew out there because we're awesome. And then you had the Green Giants, which were all the tall dudes that were our, our nemesis because, well, they think they're they're great because they're so tall. And you mm. never really get to be in the same boat crew, but it's usually those two are the competitive ones that um, are winning races. Well, this instructor had this great idea that we're going to eat our MREs in the ocean, like sitting down with the boats on top of our head. The difference was, I remember him saying, ah, like kind of being in pain and, and lean forward. And what that did is that dropped the boat on my head, which it, it compacted my spine. It was like a shock of lightning went through me. And so I can, I pressed forward because we're about to go through the med checks and I got pulled out of the, I think this is night two. I can't remember exactly which night. But they pulled me out of the med check said, told him, I was like, yeah, I've got this lightning bolt feeling going through my legs. And so they pulled me out and they're like, hey, we've got to get, get x-rays. And I was like, okay. And so they went and they did x-rays and they said, oh, it, there's no broken things. And so they went to put me back in. Well, at that point in time, and this is where Buds is very, very structured, is they said, you've been out for too long because I had to go over and get x-rays at this medical facility. And they came back and said, no, we're going to roll you to the next class, which after being up to hell week, it was like, oh, crap. OK, not very happy, but I can do it. I can get here. I know I want I've tasted where I know I want to be is is I want to make it through this training. And so went through two, three, nine. Same thing went up to hell week. Got uh, the stuff called VGE, which is venereal gastro endonitis, where you're everything's coming out of your body from every end. They rolled me again. And so that time it took. That was a lot that that when I got rolled that second time, that crushed me because I'm like, man, I just did this twice. Why am I not making it through? Like I started questioning and doubting myself. I was like, am I not supposed to make it through? Am I, do I have weak genes? And it, that's the common thing that uh, we say to each other. And and so in two, four, zero, I had put so many miles on my body that it was starting to break down. I didn't know at the time was bilateral hip stress fractures where you get the little hairline fracture in your hips. And I had two of them. And so I was running down the beach and we just had a guy pass away during a, during a run. And he, I remember seeing him collapse and, and um, pass away right before I started hill week again, I was, we do a four mile time to run and I was on a timed run and I couldn't walk. Like it was the weirdest thing. Like no matter how hard I tried, it's like my legs wouldn't work. And so they sent me over to the, the medic and, um, that's when they sent me over to get x-rays again. They said, okay, you have bilateral hip stress fractures. You can't continue. You've had too many chances. We've got to send you to the fleet. I was just devastated, heartbroken. I was like, well, I guess I'll never make it as a SEAL. They opened a door for me. They said, okay, because I, I was somewhat well-liked. I, I always gave it my all. There was never a, a time that I'm like trying to feel sorry for myself. And so they said, you can come back if you go and do this billet, um, which is in Puerto Rico. You can go and uh, be a 9545, go and learn um, your job as a gunner's mate in a security department. So I said, awesome. I'll go heal and come back. Came back class 250, got all the way to Hell Week again. I was in Hell Week and they had an admiral that was visiting. And they were, he was touring Hell Week and we're in Hell Week. And this is where I met some of the greatest dudes that that have walked the face of this earth. Like a lot of the guys there that I met in this time frame. I'm still friends with today. So I'm in hell week. I'm sitting on the podium. We're doing our, our med checks. This is day two. No, this is day three after I've been through two nights. And it's right before the, you have like Wednesday night is if you make it through Wednesday night, you're good. Like they'll roll mm -hmm. you forward. Yeah. And so we're, I'm close to that point, And this Admiral's walking through it and the class had VGE again. Like it's like the entire class had it. Well, I'm sitting on this podium and the Admiral walks down. And this is why I don't like Skittles to this day. One of the brown shirts that already made it through came up to me and said, hey, Murph, you're doing great. Here's some Skittles. Like it was a reward. And so I'm like, cool. I gobbled some Skittles down. As soon as the Admiral gets me, he's like, hey, son, how are you doing? I was just like, I'm doing. And then I just projectile vomited <laughs> Skittles everywhere. 
And I think that it got some on him or something because he was like, get that man to medical now. And I was like, oh, no, I know what this means. Basically, he, he put one of his aides to say, make sure you find out what is going on with this guy. Like, he'd probably never seen somebody the way that I did. But I was like, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. And and uh, oh, I was in medical and they uh, they kept telling me, he's like, hey, you've got to hold down some liquids or fluid or else you can't go back in. So I'm trying to find every way to hold stuff down. And so uh, they would give you Ensure, the drink Ensure. I was not holding it down very well. And the doc there was really cool. He was a really nice guy. We'd become friends. And he said, hey, Murph, listen, you've got to hold this down or else I can't let you back in. One more chance this is your last chance. I was like, okay, drank it down. I was like, hey, can I just go to the bathroom real quick? And he's like, yep. So I went to the bathroom and I was like, maybe if I just let it go now, I can come back down. There's nothing to, to throw back up. And so I went back, basically purged myself. And I came back out and I was like, oh, I'm good. And he kind of looked at me and he shook his head. He's like, hey, just so you know, everyone heard what you were doing in there. And I was like, ah, crap. He's like, we got to roll. So I got rolled into class 251. 251 was a magic ticket. Not a single problem went all the way through, made it all the way through. And I was like, the amount of time that I'd spent in buds was just awful. My body was so broken down by the time I, I got done that I still have, I used to be about five foot nine. Now I'm about five foot seven because the boats had just pounded. <laughs> in and that's why I've lost part of my hair is because the boats have rubbed all that off. I spent so much time underneath a boat in buds. Oh. Uh, so what is of, that like four hell weeks essentially? It was uh yeah, yep. Four. Four. There was I think I totaled about 13 or 14 days being in hell week. 